Today's lesson is pages 107, 109, 111. Let's look at those pages now. I already started it for you, so you just have to fill it out. Here's the hundreds chart. Pause your video, fill out the hundreds chart. You should have noticed you were counting by twos. It was all the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, ten. Then it asks you to circle all of the fives when you skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I went ahead and finished that pattern for you. And then it asks you to draw a smiley in all of the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. As your video and fill out your hundreds chart so it looks like mine. You should have just filled out your hundreds chart. On the back, it's telling you to skip count. So when you skip count, you start at the number that it has you starting at in the pattern. And then you skip count. So this is the number two. It's telling me to skip count by two. So one, two, the next number is four. I'm gonna skip count again. One, two, the next number is six. One more time, let's try it. One, two, that number's eight. Go ahead and fill out that portion of the C and show box. So when we skip count by twos, we start at the number that's first in the pattern and count that many times to the next number. So this time it's starting at six. I'm gonna skip count. One, two, and then it's Now it says skip count by fives. It starts at 15. Let's go up to the 15. One, two, three, four, five. The next number is 20. It has that for you. So we got to go again. One, two, three, four, five. It says 25 is the next number. So go ahead and fill out the rest of this page on your own. Put a smiley by number two when you finish it. Put a smiley, a big circle around number three when you finish it. Now it's tricky because. It's counting backwards. I'm gonna give you a clue. Go up to the 50 in the chart that we have and look for the pattern. I see 50, 40, it skips one, and then I see 20. What could that pattern be? Oh, oh, there it is. On this hundreds chart, you're going to put a triangle around all of the fives and skip count by fives. So it's not just the fives. It's also going to be the 10. See, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So put a triangle around those numbers now. The next number it says is to skip count by 10. So we'll start at 10 and skip count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. But I want you to draw a circle around all those numbers. What do you notice? Okay, pause the video, fill out your hundreds chart there. Your hundreds chart should now look like mine with triangles down this column, triangles and circles down this column because you skip counting by fives and skip counting by tens. Next, it says describe the pattern as you're skip counting. So in this one, I see I'm going 34. I'm going to find 34 in the chart, 34, and then I'm going to skip count to 36. One, two. I only counted two times. Then I'm going to skip count again. One, two. I only counted two times to get to 38. So I'm skip counting by two. All right. So that's what it means when it says describe the pattern. How many times are you skip counting? Do seven, eight, nine on your own. Here are your word problems. If there are two vases with 10 flowers in each vase, how many flowers are there in all? You're not gonna do two plus 10 because it's not two flowers in one vase and 10 flowers in the other. Both vases have 10 flowers. There are three fish bowls. How many fish are there if there are five fish in each bowl. I drew five dots in each bowl to help me. So that's five, ten. What's the last one going to be? It's repeated addition. Five, ten. Five plus five plus five equals. What's it going to be? Your last problem. How many frogs are there in all if there are three lily pads and each one has two frogs? Three lily pads. I drew two dots on each of the other lily pads to help me. It's repeated addition. So I'm going to do two plus two plus two equals. The last page is your homework page. You can do the front all on your own. You're not describing the pattern, but you do on the back part. Describe the pattern and fill in the missing numbers. And then the last problem are this. There are 20 wheels on a group of bicycles. Each bike has two wheels. How many bikes are there? I drew a picture to help me. 